them save Mr. Krabs and all of Bikini Bottom from Plankton's dreaded Plan Z. The Sea. Let's get it. Hello, Dark Side. Welcome. What's going on? Never fear, good citizens <clears throat> of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep. Nice. Excitement, adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. And this time, I'm not like. 12 minutes late to stream, yippee. I'm only two minutes late this time. Then again, um... Hold on. Yeah, I was just a tiny bit late because, you know, trying to take a shit, you know how it is. Never fear, good citizens of you know how it'd be. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. Hello, Peppa. What's up not manager. today? A manager is always prepared. To see what Boing. These just ooze macho. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. Manager coming through. <clears throat> What's up, Mythic? How's it going? Um... Yeah, I've never used an electric scooter, but I have seen and heard that they can, you know, obviously depending on which one you get and stuff, like, they can be pretty fast, considering that obviously you have, like, considering you have no, like, protection, obviously, like, they can go, they can go fairly fast and shit. Fair, um... I felt a little hot earlier, so I... I went to go open the windows, and I smelled what... It was like a mixture of, like, petrol and burning plastic. So I closed the windows. They do be closed, though. Well, it's probably fine now, but, you know... Thinking of ideas for the modding challenge. Just one level each, right? So I'm thinking. Uh, let me let me think of ideas with you. All right. Okay. Well, I I, I think it's fair to like r tackle ideas that other people have done before. If those ideas are like old, I mean, what you even could do. Is that you could take, like, a Minecraft freak ap approach and just, you know, kind of reimagine a, like, a theme that, or, like, you could take, like, a 3k theme. Um, that's not the most imaginative, but that'd be, like, the easiest thing to do. Um, alternatively, I would love to see another take on, like, a casino level, because... I think, theoretically, a lot could have been done. With a casino level, like a pinball table or like throwing dice to determine which doors you open and stuff like that. I think maybe a bank heist could be cool. Or, uh. Hey. 
maybe going through the sewers, like in Futurama. I like how while I've been talking, fucking Dark Side of Myth, like I've just been spamming the command. Yeah, like, Mr. Krabs wants you to, like, fucking rob a bank. Or something. Or maybe, the, like, the Krusty Krab is gonna shut down, so you need to rob the bank so you can keep funding the Krusty Krab. Or, uh... Maybe Garia's hospital bills are too expensive, or... Really, there, there could be a lot of good reasons for wanting to rob the bank. Oh, you know be fucking sick, right? You drive from SpongeBob's house in the paddy wagon, and Patrick's obviously with you. You drive to the bank, and in the way, there's obviously a lot of obstacles in the way. It's just like, it's kind of like downtown. I guess, like, you're driving through, like, a downtown-like area, and there's a lot of obstacles in the way, and then you make it to the bank. And then you have to find the point of uh, infiltration, uh, well, maybe, like, Krabs distracts the gods or some shit, I don't know. Or maybe Patrick can distract the gods, and then, and then you just, like, run on in. And then there's lasers everywhere, like in Museum. Right? Would that not be cool? Nightbot isn't just a bitch. Nightbot is the bitch of the chat. Hello, Cardin. I'm doing pretty decent, I would say. Thank you for the good luck. I hope your day is going well. I don't know if you saw Cardin, but the modding challenge is to make a uh, movie level and then it's going to be a compilation. And the deadline is, like, almost the end of next month, I believe. Um... So now I was just, I was just giving ideas, just now. Which, uh, my, my favorite one was Bank Heist. Like, you drive down to the bank and then you distract the guards while the other, while one of you, like... Infiltrates the bank. There's lasers everywhere. Uh, is that not the coolest thing ever? A manager is always prepared. I removed Are You a Girl because no one says that to me anymore. It's always Are You a Femboy. People have kind of given up calling me a girl. For the most part, it, it is mostly about, like, the femboy. We're gonna touch you. Why would you... Why would you do that? What is the incentive to touch me? But yes, hello, Lucy. That's my favorite line ever. Um, speaking of sub goals, by the way, because of what I said in news, because like that started because I was thinking, oh, it's almost Sunday, should I do a sub goal on Sunday? So I was looking. I looked at how long, like, a long playthrough of Shadow Showdown and the Simpsons game are. Like, how long they are. Why is- why did I find a Simpsons game playthrough that was nine hours long? Is it nine hours long? 
I said, why would you want to touch me? Howdy, I buy. Yeah, you don't even need to say, like, skibbity phantom tax. You just need to play movie. That's how you get brain rot. Well, yeah, but, like, if I were to play the Simpsons game, though, would it take me nine hours? That's what I'm concerned about. The shortest playthroughs I saw on 360 and PS3 were, like, four and a half hours. That's probably from people who know what they're doing. I mean, I've played the game before, to be fair, so I won't take a, like, relative, like, b between, like, blind playthrough compared to have already been playing the game before, like, the time difference, so the percentage-wise. I don't think it'll be as far off as it was with Incredibles. But that's still incredibly concerning, because I don't think I'd be able to beat it in one fucking stream. So it makes streaming it a lot more risky if people don't like it. But then if I already did one stream, then I might as well do the other stream to finish it. But then if, if people don't like it the first time, they're especially not going to like it the second time. It just causes all these issues. Well, I still have an excuse card. The fact that I don't want to spend money, and it would take like two to three weeks to arrive, so by the time it arrives, I might have already fucking finished my goal, and then it'd be completely useless. And yeah, you could say, oh, well, if you already bought one, then you'd be using it right now. And yeah, I would, but that's because, like, that's because I'm just in hell right now, and I have to get out of hell eventually. That's not coping. Eight hours staring at Homer's ass, one hour of gameplay. That would be the case. You don't play as Homer that much, however. I feel like the longest levels are probably the Lisa and Marge levels. Actually, I don't know if Marge is always paired with Lisa, actually. She might not be. But still, like, the Marge levels, I think, are the longest, if I recall correctly. Although there's also, like, this, uh... There's, like, dungeon level in a Homer level, and it's, I remember that one being really long. I remember it being one of the best levels in the game, but it's still being, like, really long. So I hate to say it, right? But I was thinking of playing the Simpsons game on PS2 because there's no hub world, and it would be so much faster. Like, to put into perspective of, like, how much faster we're talking, right? Keep in mind that, like, PS2 has bad loads. The world record time difference between 360 and PS2, the time difference in any percent is 48 minutes, and that's with knowing where to go in the hub world. So it would be, like, an hour and a half saved on my end. So I'm still thinking of about it. Hello, Wilcon. Yes, I was talking about a, a like comments before you came in. There's a new Fortnite update. Why is there a new Fortnite update? When are they gonna add Chun Li to the item shop? I'm not feeling like a game of catch right now. I have 1,900 V-Bucks and nothing good to spend it on. Well, I gotta reserve some for the next Battle Pass, but like after, like after that. Just uh, nothing I wanna buy. I need Chun-Li. Me picking Chun-Li is actually a, um, a competitive tactic. If someone's trying to sneak up behind me, they'll be too busy staring at my Giat. And then... They won't be- they'll... They, they'll, they will shoot me, but they won't headshot me because they're too distracted. And then I won't die, and I'll turn around and kill them. So it's a strategical advantage. Oh, that's a to I must pick Chun-Li. Like right <laughs> that's fair, Wilcon. I'm really hoping that people actually, like, work on it. Otherwise, the collab mods could theoretically be, like... Well, zero levels, but more realistically. Realistic, but still being a bit pessimistic. Imagine if we only had, like, two levels, and well, that's not really a collab mod, then, is it? 
You need to have at least, like, three. At least. But m more reasonably, like, five. And then preferably, like, ten. <laughs> but, yeah. Also, they all, they all preferably have, like, six tokens. Unless you're actually just gonna, like, fill the fuck out of them, in which case, don't bother them. But, yeah. Oh. Why do you hate on me so much, Lucy? Hello, Dulcy. Thanks for the good luck. How is it going? I forgot the whole point I was making with that Simpsons game thing. Makes me want to swap it out for something else potentially, but even if I did, I don't know what it would be for. Cause like, nine hours, like that is just ridiculous. And, and that it could potentially take longer for me, cause I have played the game before, but like only like twice and not in years. So it could take like 10 hours, and then at that point, it's, it would require two streams, so I don't know. The pit- okay, I don't know, like, who contributed to me hitting the 120 star sub gold dark side, but it's entirely possible that they- whoever did, if it was multiple people or just one person, they probably don't even watch me anymore. Because my audience is mostly different from 2021. So, like... Techn- If we're being technical... I- I- Like, I don't know anyone anything anymore when it comes to goals that old. Because they're not- Like, if the people who gave me money for it aren't gonna watch it anyway, then you are getting something... With no effort... From... You. Like, no- No money, no effort. Which technically means I- I wouldn't even have to play it. Besides, I'll be more fucking enjoyable, right? SM64, and I'm just getting annoyed all the time. Or BFB Mix. Like... And BFB Mix is longer, you get more... You get more content out of it. Well, not three years yet, but three years coming. Well, that's not that's not entirely true, Khan. I played Sha, but Sha worked because it was one stream. I've ran it before, and the community has like not overlap, but we know each other. Like, what relation do we have to the Simpsons game? We know Sha, and Simpsons game is a Simpsons game, which means it's technically linked to Sha, even though they play literally nothing alike what in any capacity. <laughs> Mix has been out since August 2020, so not quite, but I mean, not that far off, yeah. Let in the sink. The problem with that idea is that while I shouldn't have left it for so long, I, I did at the end of the day. So now I'm changing it to be more appropriate for today's audience. I could, I could do a thing that people would not watch me do, or I could do a thing that people would watch me do. And if people want to watch me do it, then they would prefer for me to do that thing. Which means it's objectively better to do that thing. So, like, yeah.
Look, right? There have been times where people give me uh, uh, subs without even kind of like caring about what the next sub goal is. They just want to give me subs. So while I don't know for sure, there's like a 50% chance that whoever gave me those subs might not have even given them to me specifically because of the sub goal. I might have just given to them to me regardless because they wanted to. That does happen. That's how I got uh, kind of like roped into doing some things like uh, Dutchman GBA. I remember someone just kept gifting me f like five subs. I don't remember who it was, but I'm very grateful for that, of course. But yeah, I didn't know what to do. So it was just like battle GBA and then I got gifted five subs. Uh, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman GBA gifted five subs. Like, I, it just kept happening, so I th I feel like in that case, it wasn't to do with the sub-goals, and it was literally just like... You know, so like, that does happen. So yeah, I've been enjoying, uh, breaks from the norm as of late, because 100% is bad. But obviously, I can't just be too, like, I feel like I probably play mashup too much, so I'm just not gonna play for a little bit. Oh, nice. Practice went well, by the way. Like, I forgot to practice playing SpongeBob. I practiced everything else, everything went good, so, like. You haven't. Well. You haven't seen Revenge of the Flying Dutchman GBA, that's all I can say. It wasn't even- it wasn't even funny miserable, it was... Wow, yeah, good things happen to good people. Unironically, that kind of low-key happened because I got the extra, because if I were any faster, as in didn't go for the strat, I would have been on a faster cycle. If I fucked it up in any way, then I would have lost like two seconds, then I would have, wouldn't have been on cycle f to get hit there. That pretty much only happened because I got, because I grabbed the extra. I mean, it was obviously due to movement in the last segment and uh, in the last token, Welcome. and this, and that token as well. But, like, if I didn't go for the strat or missed it, I would have been on a cycle where I wouldn't have lost the run. So it's kind of annoying. What was I saying? Yes. Um, Re Revenge of the Flying Dutchman GBA wasn't even funny miserable. It was actually just miserable. I didn't finish it, and I have zero regrets not finishing it. Hello, Lena. Thank you for the good luck. How are we doing today? This is a job for a manager. Yeah, like, with SM64, like, first of all, what's the relation? Second... Like, the pro- okay, it wouldn't- when I did that birthday stream of SM64 in 2019, that was very different, because I was very bad at the game anyway. But, like, in 2022, I was actually running the game, and I got a pretty decent time in 70, so I got a 52. And I was constantly updating my strats. I- I tried de-rusting today for, like, uh, like, 40 minutes. And I just don't remember how to do, like, anything. Like... Like, I could- like, sometimes I- I just, like, without even thinking about it, I'm, like, accidentally reverting my strats. I don't know what camera angles I'm supposed to be using. Like, I'm just- and even when I do remember what to do, I basically always fuck up the inputs. SM64 has to be one of the worst speed games of all time to de-rust in, it has to be. Because every little input matters a lot, because it, it, it like, almost always, like, flows into the next inputs, if that makes sense. So if you fuck up a previous input, it can completely change the next inputs. 
for the, for the, within the next like few seconds of gameplay. Like that that happens a lot. And it would just be I would just be constantly annoyed by fucking up literally every single star. And being like, oh, I wasn't supposed to do that, or like I accidentally reverted my strat, or like just blah blah blah. Like it wouldn't be enjoyable, I don't think. I got too decent at the game and I've been rusting too hard, and the amount of time it would take to the amount of time it would take to de-rust, I'd, I'd also rat want to learn the 120 stars, because I've only learned the 70 plus, like, five other ones for fun. Like, I would, I would if I were to de-rust, then it'd be fun, except then I'd want to, like, learn the rest, of, and then I'd just be spending, like, dozens of hours learning. Just do a sub-goal that has, like, nothing to do with movie. And with 120 star, like, you have hardly any opportunities to, like, read the chat outside of, like, obviously grabbing the stars. But, like, in the levels themselves, you have, like, no chances, almost. Basically, like, it was a good idea back in 2021, but now it's not a good idea to do it as a sub-goal. So, it will be late to rest. On that note, I was actually thinking of playing Mix on Sunday, like, this Sunday. But I don't know if that's enough, like, time, uh, prep time for the chat. Hey. I think it'd be funnier at first, but then I think I would just get too annoyed and just, like, yeah. Oh, well, I'd like to wake up now. Trust me, like, I, I fucked up, like, basically every single thing that I tried earlier. Oh. swimming just after <laughs> Because, again, because, like, every fucking little input matters, and I forgot, like, a lot of stuff, like, it would just be, like, annoying. Like, I can't remember how to do things. Because, like, I kept trying stuff, and I was like, do I do a lag reduction strat here? And I can't remember, so then I, like, try to do it, and then I fuck up the inputs, because I, it's like, oh, I know, I don't think I was supposed to. Or, like, oh, I, I think I do, but I have the wrong angle. And, and just, like... Yeah. <coughs> and it'd be fucky with my capture card most likely I plugged in my LGP light right let's just say that it takes so long to pick up a signal um the intro would be completed by the time that I would actually see game so that's not an option and, uh, you- I don't think you can plug in two Elgados at the same time and have them both work. Because it's happening into, like, the same recording software. Like, into the same, like, drivers. Jumping, jumper, jumper, yeah, true. I suppose. Mix would uh, actually lead me quite well into Five Nights in BFPV because I'd beat it like I'd probably beat it with like an hour and a half to spare of stream, so I feel like that would actually like work. Luckily, I already had BFB Mix, like, on my PC. I literally just went into my D drive and typed in BFB Mix, and I have one called Xbox BFB Mix, and I was like, cool. And the files were created in, uh, in 2024. And then I remembered I put BFV Mix on my 360. And I was like, oh, yeah, I did do that, didn't I? So I got the latest version. We're good. We're good to go. But I think it's relevant to play now because of uh, Mashup. Like, th there, are, there are no mods, other mods like Mashup and Mix, where it's, like, fully 100% like custom, you know what I mean? I mean, you, obviously you got mods like Sock Expedition and uh, Community Cup, but they, they're like, obviously not the same thing. 
When it comes to, like, these really big fucking overhaul mods, it's just those two. So... I think it's relevant to look back at BFBB Mix. And, like, not directly compare it to Movie Mix. I mean, the, the way that they're structured is quite different. But just see, like, how far we've come, I guess, in the span of, like, over three years. You know, kind of, like, visually and, like, now that we have, like, hindsight as well, just, like, what things work in mix and what doesn't and all that stuff. Yeah, I did do one in early 2021, but I feel like it's been long enough. Why do I feel like it's been long enough? Well, it's been about, it's been a little over three years, right? But the thing is, right? I've done I've done a movie casual playthrough on my stream twice, and the time gap between the two was also three years. So, yeah, it's been plenty of time. I believe the game has been updated since I last played it too, because I don't think when I played, I don't think sock hints were a thing. I'm pretty sure they weren't, but now they are, so yeah. At the end of the day, people are going to be limited to their imaginations and IP limitations in general. Though it's hard to have a properly direct comparison because, again, Mix and Mashup are just built differently. Mix is, like, a lot more open. And you can... It, within, like, an area, you can practically do whatever the fuck you want in almost any order that you want. Whereas Mashup is, is like... You're trying to get to the end objective, and then you're like, oh, look, it's a little side thing on the way. I'm going to do this now, because why not? <clears throat> you know, we don't have anything like BFB Mix to, like, have a direct comparison to. But, um... Well, visually, there's uh, been an upgrade since Mix, I feel like. I feel like that's evident. But, yeah. Only problem is that I actually have played the game kind of a lot recently. Uh, mix. So I may be, like, more autopilot-y rather than, like, inspecting everything. Because I I played it casually in, uh, like, like end of August, I think. And then I, I did, like, two casual runs. Like... I did some- I did, like, some cruise boosting, but, like, generally, I just kind of, like, just grabbed spatulas when I saw them, you know, and just fucking just did them fast, skip tax boxes. So, obviously, that's not, like, the exact same thing, and I played on GameCube for the casual playthrough anyway, but, yeah. I, uh, I did, like, two casual- like, in, I think in, like, January or February. Did, like, two run-throughs of mix, although one of them was 
was a uh, quick play, so once again, not the same thing, but... Mmm, nah. SM74 fucking sucks. Some of the level entries don't even, like, work properly. Like, they, they take you to the wrong locations. Sometimes they won't even, like, boot you out of the right level. They'll just, like, put you back to, like, the main. So then you gotta, like, do, like, minutes of platforming to get back to an area. And there's also just, like, really bullshit platforming and stuff. SM74 is, is built like a Minecraft freak mod, actually. Level geometry, mm, I guess. Star Road is actually, like, decently linear in that sense. Well, it's a bit open. It's more open than, like, Masha, but... Yeah, I, I guess Star Road kind of does have that, like, side objective mentality a lot of the time. Super Mario 63. I heard all about that game back in the day. I, you know, I was curious about it, but I never played it. Looks decent, though. Yeah, it looks, uh, looks like it'd be a decent time. Star Road was, like, so amazing for its time, really, like... At the time, it was probably seen as this, like, perfect fucking masterpiece. But now, obviously, compared to, like, modern mods... ...where you can code anything you want... ...literally anything you want, because they have the source code. And we've just gotten... Well, I say we as if I have any contribution. But, like, they've just gotten better with, like, level design mindsets and, like, you know, custom enemies and just, like, pl like fair platforming and stuff like that in general. Like, it's still good. It's just obviously, you know, there's definitely better things to play these days, even if it's still, like, absolutely worth playing if you like SM64 Hex. Yeah, you gotta wait for, like, 10 years, Carden, when we get, uh... BFBB Mix remastered, and it, and it looks like Heavy Iron made it. Like a boss. After we finally get Battle of Movie Source Code, because we, uh, because some fucking 4 chan leaks it out of nowhere. And then he gets assassinated by Heavy Iron. But it's okay, it was a worthy sacrifice. I'd say Mashup, like, looks by today's standards, like, obviously because it was made recently. Like, generally, the levels look average, um, which there's literally nothing wrong with, obviously. Like, if they're average, then they're not below average, about what you would expect them to be. Um, BFB mixes do definitely look... Oh, but it's still not like none of the levels look ugly. Like <laughs> Yeah. Finally.
Also, BFE Remix has really, uh, it has really awful bloom issues on Xbox, and I don't know why, because Mashup doesn't. I don't know if, like, Sky approached Mashup in, like, a weird way, or if it's literally just a battle Xbox problem or while I really don't know. I sold a few cracks. I don't think there were that many, though, really. Hello, SpongeBob. Good luck on the runs or something, XDD. Why, hello, this guy. Um, I don't know if you saw what I said in news, but I was thinking of playing Mix on Sunday. So much destruction. A new path. I think that'd be pretty cool. It's already on my Xbox, so like I'm definitely gonna do it at some point, but I think this Sunday would be fine. Well, that's not preferable. Um, what about next Sunday? Saturday, this Saturday. Go. <laughs> I, I don't like I don't like doing sub goals on weekdays because I feel like it's less likely for the average person to be able to make it. Because of, like, school and stuff. You know? Like a boss. Hello, Latte. And hello as well, Koopa. Um... No worries. I'm doing A-OK. -okay. Well, we'll see if I'm doing A-OK. -okay. I need to see if I miss this or not. I am doing A-OK. -okay. Thank you for asking.
I think it's really funny that Chris used to just like skip classes to just stream movie back in the day. It was really funny. He was dedicated to the fucking grind. I was not doing okay yesterday. I reset to XT boost for two hours and then finished the 108. Good lord. Um, I'm beginning to think the XD boost is not a good trick. There's nothing wrong with it, I'll prove it right now. Uh, okay, well, I mean, that, that was just a little... That was a little bug. You have to get the... Pra practicing XD boost. I, I trust Sky that it doesn't do shit. Trust me, I know what it's like to j keep just practice a trick, and then it works, and then, and then you do runs, and then it doesn't work. It's like you've never done it before. I know what that's like, so I'm I'm I trust Sky on this one. <laughs> Sky, that's called an addiction, by the way. Like, the thought of, like, oh, but what if I had this good run and I got first try XD boost? Like, yeah, it will happen eventually if you keep doing runs. But, like, all it takes is, is a bad Krista to fuck it all up anyway. It's like weird gambling. It's like gambling that you kind of have control of, but like not fully because you're still like, we're not robots. It's like really bizarre gambling. It's like day 100. I'm sure if I get to day 100, I'll be questioning all my fucking life choices. But that's okay, because I'll have plenty of energy, because I'll have the air conditioner. If it takes that long, I fucking swear, bro. What am I supposed to, like... What am I supposed to do if it takes a hundred days or more than? What am I supposed to do about that? Well, the goal I'm going for is hard, but the the and the current uh, short-term goal of 222, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. This might be one of those instances. You know those instances I've had before where I absolutely cannot PB, and then when I do, I PB by so fucking much that I just obliterate the category? That could happen. Like, I might just not get a high 222, potentially. I might literally just get, like... 222 like 15 for all I know or it could be 222 59 hell my next PB could be 223 like 17 in which case I'll kill myself but still like you don't know but I think at this point it's likely that that, that will happen where I just like get a really good run well it would have already happened but I got fucking fake ranked so we're still here all these weeks later All these weeks later. What's up, gaming guy? A rolling fund gathers no no girls allowed. This is a real man's game. I'm not trusting that. There's no way that would have worked. 
I, I'm pretty confident that wouldn't have worked because, like, when I unpaused, I didn't even just, like, instantly pick up the token. I kept moving, I'm pretty sure, unless I'm blind. You'd probably spend, like, a year making the fucking video card and we don't have time for that. I, I would too, yeah. <laughs> Why you do that? That's true as fuck. And why it why is it different on PS2? Why it no worky on GameCube? We need to hire a genius for this. Mm. Yeah. I can't continue this, right? Like, I just kind of can't. By default, this is gonna be like plus 14. More than, I think. I don't know, plus... I basically can't continue that, I feel like. I'm plus 41 off my best. I'll continue the run because it'll fucking die in like now but man anyway, I'm gonna keep going. If I continue this run I won't be stuck in no cheese for as long, so I won't wanna wanna end my existence quite as fast. To go now though, man, I know I need to get an extremely fast ball shot, play perfectly, get spear boost, everything, so that's not happening. A uh, second split, I could match the gold. But, like... Yeah. Well, even, even if I did match both golds, I would not be minus. I think if I even match both my SCDA golds, I probably wouldn't be minus. Yeah, so if, if, if we're being optimistic, I think the earliest I could be minus is, like, out of Dennis. But I play really good. So I guess it's possible. You know, I try to bully Sky, but honestly, yeah, with this run, I'm kind of thinking, like... I'm having a gambling mentality with this run right now, I'm just like... Well, Latte, I gave Peppa the idea of a, a bank heist. I don't know if he's gonna do it, but if he doesn't, then you could do it, maybe. I didn't highlight it because it wasn't even like, even if it were a category, it wouldn't be. Mindy Skip was bugged and didn't work, so I literally couldn't do Knucklehead. And, like, a lot of other things went wrong, so I have no intention to highlighting that. Because that was, like, the worst showcase of a, of a fucking category of, like, ever. Hello, careful. Die. Then how come, Latte, I, uh... How, if my ideas are not good, then how come, um... I gave Sky the idea for Holden, Sponge, and Mix? And for, like, the general structuring of Gulagoon? And, uh... 
And then that's all I did. And, and how come I gave iPi the idea of... Like, the extras being color-coded. Which makes, like, trying to recollect them, like, significantly easier. Because, like, for example... Like, in, in my, uh... In my hundo run of mashup... In Stitch... I, I wasn't sure at first if I missed an extra. And then I picked up my first extra, and it wasn't red, so I knew for a fact that I missed the first extra. It's just, like, that was actually quite useful. And the idea of having color-coded extras is goaded as fuck. Well, the, the sand castles are part of the structuring. I said, what if there were castles for each kid that was, uh, that was captured? And that does change the general structuring of the level, I would say. And how you go about it. So I feel like I played a pretty decent part in... In that. I gave Will Con the idea for a jailbreak mod. And it's pretty good. What do you have to say about that? Um, I said jailbreak mod. Guard. That was the... Wilcon made it because I suggested the idea, but I had, like, no input on, like, how you'd go about beating it. But obviously, if I didn't give Wilcon the idea, then he wouldn't have made it, and we'd have... I mean, he probably would have made something else, and then we'd have a completely different mod. It'd be literally nothing like it, so... You know... Well, I'm not really- I'm not an expert on level design, I just think I got cool ideas, like Bank Heist. Is anyone gonna do a Bank Heist level? Cause like, that's a fucking awesome idea. Oh, and Sky didn't end up using this, but I really wish they did, because I still think it's a really good idea. I gave Sky the idea for mix of a bit, um, a Mermelet hub world. And then you would, like, to get to all of the levels, you would take, like, secret, like, exits that take you to those levels and like elevators and shit like that and then to get into actual Mermela you would like find a secret hatch and drop down it maybe go down a slide or something and then you'd end up in actual Mermela I still think that idea is really good it could work really good in, in a story where it's like maybe Bikini Bottom has been is infested with robots and Stuff like that, and nowhere safe except for the Mermelet because it's hidden. So you see it hiding in the Mermelet. Then you take these like transport systems, and it's like, and then obviously it's like, and then you have exits um, from those levels back to the Mermelet in case like you're in danger. So it, it like canonically works. Like, I think that's like one of the coolest ideas you could have for a hub world, but in the context of SpongeBob. How is that BFBB normally? I said Mermelet Hub World, where nowhere is safe, which is why you have to be in the Mermelet. Like, no, that's literally, like, that's not how it is casually. Like, obviously there's robots, but, like, the taxi pads are clearly not meant to be like, ah, oh, it's too dangerous here, we gotta, we gotta bail. Oh my god, I'm saying the hub is good. I had to do that, Cooper. Also, yeah, um, have a good rest of your day. Okay, how is a Mermelet hub world not a good idea?
Okay, but let's say there were, like, no limitations. What is bad about the idea? Exactly. Like, you can imagine how it would work. A secret elevator, a slide, like a secret slide, like, button combination. You know, maybe when you get, like, maybe when you have, like, 40 spatulas instead of going to industrial park. Um, you, like, you think you're opening up the right room, but then it turns out it's Man Ray's containment thing, and then Man Ray escapes, and then you have to fight him. Like, you could say, like, uh, like... It would be good. Dude, if someone knew what they were doing, it would absolutely be executed amazingly. I know it would. Like, it is a good idea. There's a difference between idea and execution. The concept is good. Like, it makes more logical sense than Bikini Bottom as well. Because why aren't the robots in Bikini Bottom? Why aren't they swarming SpongeBob's house? Mermelade makes way more sense because how, like, because the robots aren't going to find that, are they? So, I mean, it, like, logically, they, obviously they do in the, in the actual game, but logically they wouldn't find the Mermelade most likely. So it makes sense, like, having to hide, like, in the Mermelade. And it makes sense, like, given all the crazy gadgets and everything there, why that would be SpongeBob and Patrick's first thought. There's nowhere else to go. It's like, oh, the minimal, like. Uh, I'm just surrounded by a bunch of fucking losers and haters. What I'm saying, Mythic, is that going from SpongeBob's pineapple to the levels in itself could be considered dangerous. If you take a secret fucking exit from the Mermelay, you can get into these levels without... For example, the problem with the taxi pad is that, in theory, a, it, like, robots could just swarm the taxi. But if you're going from, like, some secret underground fucking thing to JF, some tunnel that the robots haven't found because it's built underground... And it would make sense that they would have tunnels built underground so that they they can easily get to these locations that Mimimata Bonacoa need to get to. Like, it literally just makes sense. Well, what would be bad about, like, what, what's, what would be so hard about, like, the ex... Well, it would be difficult, but, like, what would be so, like, impossible about the execution, like... Underground tunnels, like, button combinations to, like, unlock an elevator or something, like, like, with... You just do, like, puzzles to unlock these, uh, secret exits. To access these levels. Like, I can't imagine that's too difficult to comprehend. God, I'm annoyed that I don't actually have the skill to make levels, because otherwise I could literally just prove that it's a good idea. But, like, what would the, the game design elaboration... Hold on. 
They were in the Mermelade because robots have swarmed everywhere else. And they wanted to make sure the Mermelade Barnacle Boy was safe. Of course, they would have secret passageways to these areas, Mermelade Barnacle Boy would. To make, to make travel easier. And so the villain can't see them ahead of time. And that is how Then what do you mean game design elaboration? Because, you know, puzzles and elevators and secret, secret slides and stuff like that. And then Mimim and Bonica Boy are standing there, and then every time you, like, complete a level or unlock a new level, you can, like, talk to them and have, like, unique dialogue for every time. It'd be cool. I don't think the robots are generally smart enough to hack them. They don't... There's no reason f to assume that they can hack the Mimim and How would progression work? You need spatulas to unlock these secret passageways. Ouch. I fucking fucking knew that was gonna happen. It happened in practice, which I completely forgot about, and I was just like, and I was here just now, and I was like, you know, I feel like it's gonna happen, and of course it fucking did. I mean, considering it's literally underground, like, yeah, it doesn't really make sense that they can find it. Is, is what I'm saying. I don't think there's a logical reason for how they found the Mermelor in Vanilla. I think it's just, oh, a Mermelor level would be cool. Which is fine, obviously. I'm just saying, from a, it doesn't make sense. Which is why Mermelor Hub World it would be cool. Because reasonably, they shouldn't be able to find the Mermelor. I swear the camera's wrong. Uh. Yeah, that camera is definitely wrong somehow. On the first swing. Oh. Why would they think to go in a cave? So if you notice, I've missed this zero times. Sounds about right. Oh my god. Apparently I need to practice that. Well, yeah, if you wanted to, you could have the robots infest the Mumele later in the game. And then you have to, like, move location, maybe. Like, that could be a cool story thing in the first place. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if, like, a pretty talented modder tried it, I'm sure the execution would be really good. Welcome. It's just that, like... Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The I think it's too much effort for somebody to want to put in to make it good. Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. When, in movies case, you don't even need to make a hub world, and in battles case, 
It's just easier to theme it around, like, bikini bottom, like, yeah. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. These just ooze macho. Cleanliness. I mean, yeah, I mean, welcome. Not really any point in keeping up to the bay because ne neither side is going to change their minds, but I'm, like... If someone is talented enough, then a Mimola hub would be extremely good, and I'm not changing my opinion on that. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. This is a job for... Family Guy back to the multiverse co-op world record attempts featuring Big Chung and Lil Chung. Welcome. You might have a point, Fireball. Also, hello, Fireball. What is up? Well, yeah, it wouldn't be my middle here. Yeah. But, like, I still feel like because you try and think of, like, secret exits and stuff, because what else are you going to do? Even if it wouldn't be executed identically to how I imagine in my head, like, I still think it could be good. I hate the word chungus, but I just, like... Obviously, it, it, the, the days from when that, that word was said constantly are long gone, so there's no reason to, like, have it as a mute, uh, filtered word in my chat anymore. It's still, like, an annoying word. It, it brings me back to dark times. Welcome. I'm a little surprised that Big Chungus hasn't, like, come back. I mean, it kind of came back, like, ironically at once, but, like... I'm surprised it hasn't come back after this, like, new wave of, like, brain rot. Just another day in the life of a manager. Because, like, instead of saying Skibbity Ohio, imagine Skibbity Chungus Ohio. I feel like it would, uh, I just figured the kids would be all over that. My beats are top tier. My bitch is top tier. My Fortnite skills are top tier. My Lego SpongeBob sets are top tier. Even though they're all broken. But, you know. Oh my god, I missed this like twice in a row, bro. Thanks for the help, boys. Well, yeah, like, it's easy to hate on Chungus because it hasn't been brought back. But, like, it's hard to. Like, I've heard the word Ohio so many times in the past, like, I don't even know how long. That is just like... You can't help but just, like, laugh at it, even if it's fucking terrible. Well, yeah, but I don't- I never hear of it, like, I unironically anymore. I, I just hear of Ohio, like, ir ironically. In the context of like brain rot situations, uh, conversations. If you uh, can't shut the fuck up. Welcome. Those badges are like so useless, by the way. Like the. Those badges that indicate like you're muted or you can't see the stream or whatever. Like. Other than just, like, a visual thing, if you think it looks cool, but, like, for the actual purpose, they're just so useless. No one uses them. Like, for that purpose. And because nobody uses them for that purpose, when somebody does, they just think they're probably doing it for, like, because it looks cool. As opposed to, like, actually not being able to, like, see the stream or 
Hear it. Manager coming through. Thank you for the good luck. I can't. I can't get two twenty one unless I get. Manager coming through. Even then, I would obviously have to play out of my mind. But yeah, that would make it possible. That's that's hey. awesome and not awesome at the same time. Uh, I'd like to wake up now. It just feels weird. Like I, I remember I was in uh, some store like a couple months ago. I walked past this guy, and he, and he looked like he was like 14, 15 or something, and I heard him say Riz, and, and then that kind of... Obviously, like, that makes caveman brain tick, but then you're like, oh yeah, that's just kind of like what people say. Like, like you know when you feel like really, like, brain rotty and degenerate? Like, like when you go outside and you just like never hear words that are used on the internet, but like, now, obviously we're getting teenagers and stuff who are using words like that. And it's just kind of like really feels really weird. Ohio was a meme for a bit, and then it fell off, and then like almost. Luckily. And I hate to admit it, but I, I laugh when whenever there's like a cartoon or something, and it just says the word Ohio, and then obviously like it gets memed. I just I just like smile at it. <laughs> I, I I like those uh, parody songs that just like fill it up with a bunch of like words. Like it would be like. I, like, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but it's, it's, it's a pretty good one. It'll be like, baby, 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 gronk. Fair cotton. I just like I don't know, I'm just I'm just on the downward spiral. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. Worst concussion of a sentence, yeah, essentially, yeah. Cause then you just have like Livy done and it's just like and, and baby gronk. I, I just think, like, of all the words, I think Baby Gronk is, like, the funniest, because it's just, like, what, like, it's just a funny, like, Gronk. Like, it's just, like... Congratulations! Now you can see the awesome fucking gameplay. I'm constantly pulling out on a run-to-run -run basis. Five, are we playing Fortnite today? If you wanna. I'm just wondering because I'm full as fuck and I was thinking of skipping out on and eating later so I, and then I could just like shower and play earlier. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, you know what's gonna happen? We're gonna win every single game. And we'll be like, damn, why do we ever stop playing? And then next session, we go up against the sweatiest ninja wannabes. Get absolutely clobbered. And then we'll never play again. And by never play again, I mean we won't play for like a week. I think Mythic said something about an update. Let me go check if there's an update. And a lot of like rice and stuff. And and then I ate a bunch of like strawberries and grapes. There is an update. How big is it? Then I'll be 14 gigabytes. Six and a half. Okay, that's still a lot, but it's not 14. Fireball, update your fucking Fortnite breath. Chun-Li might be in the item shop, you never know. SpongeBob. Giat, I was in Ohio before I met you. Anyway, um, six and a half gigs is a lot, so hopefully it's something person. Hopefully they remove snipers from the game. Six and a half. 6.5 gigabytes? Mythic said it's something to do with Star Wars, so they might just be adding back those, like... Those old, like, Vader boss fights, maybe? Don't know. But they probably also have, like, a bouncing items and shit. I wouldn't be surprised. But how is that six and a half gigabytes? Surely there must be other changes, like patch notes. Right? Or is it just like really unoptimized? I don't give a fuck about Lego. Unless they find a new way to go AFK in Lego Fortnite, in which case I'm all for that. But if not, then I don't give a fuck. I, I agree, I think. Me when I'm holding my Giatling gun. Lego Fortnite is a Lego game. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a Lego game, is it not? It's literally called Lego F Lego Fortnite. Matter of fact, right? I'm not feeling like a game of catch right now. <sighs> I will play. What's that Lego game that people said was really good, but you had to like buy the set for it and it's like really expensive? It's like fucking like 70 quid or some shit. If anyone wants to give me money for that, I'll play that. Yeah. Lego Dimensions sounds like an excellent game from what I what I heard. Everybody was gassing it up. So if anybody wants to give me all the money for that, again, it's like 70 quid or some shit or 80 quid. 
I would happily accept that. And I would play the fuck out of LEGO Dimensions. No, 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 I would play it. I actually swear to God I'd play it. Like, it sounds amazing. It just sounds like, if it wasn't so inaccessible, it would just be one of those games that you just, like, have to play from the sounds of it. See, look, I have played a LEGO game. Vacuuming up manliness, even in the corners. <laughs> what the Sigma is like one of the funniest ones. It's like so. It's funny because it's like a Squidward impression, and what the Sigma does not make sense. So it's just like layered, it's just a bunch of fucking brain rot. It's like a brain rot cake, brain rot muffin. Um, what the Sigma? Um, what the Sigma? Dignified Lego game. Well, if someone wants to give me money, then I'll play Lego Dimensions. Well, how close are you to completing depression? Lego movie game? Mmm, is that game good? Then again, like, how many Lego games are rated, like, low? I feel like- I feel like just Lego games are just, like, inherently fun because of, like... Just seeing the Lego, like, aesthetic is, like, nice. And, like, yeah. I don't know if I have them anymore, but I had, like, Lego Indiana Jones on Xbox 360. I think I might have sold it and never played it. I would just buy games back in the day without really, like, thinking too much about it. Like, I got in a flea market for, like, four quid or some shit, so, like, I, you know. I guess it'd be fair to finish them, Wilcon, but I'd obviously be wary of, like, burnout and shit. Plankton takes over the Krusty Krab and Patrick was forced to... ...take save the employees so he can order burger. So you mean, like, this- they're, like, captured around, like, the chum bucket... ...or the Krusty Krab or something, and then, like... You have to, like, be enemies and then, like, untie the characters or something. That's what you're saying? Hello, Sank. Uh, yeah. In it. So he's... He's gonna eat them.
Why do I still have a cold? Well, ironically, I'm actually just not understanding how this would work, unlike the Mermelair hub world idea. I can visualize how that would work pretty easily. I can't really visualize how this how this would be executed like well. Obviously, you do you. I'm not opening MS Paint, I'm gonna run. Are you just like, are you curious to see my game design ideas? I can't draw 3D shapes. Well, I mean, I guess you don't need to. You just need to have, like, a top-down map layout. But it'd be harder to, like, show secret exits without, like, some 3D perspective, I feel like. I also can't draw, like, at all. But, yeah. I just bipped a little bit and it hit my chest. Bro, I was so close to grabbing that. He just said the same voice line twice in a row. What a bitch. You underestimate the power of MS Paint. True. Paint tool sigh. Using paint.net. I'm not. Uh, fuck it out. Uh. Paint.net was used for most of my emotes to like make them tra uh, transparent and shit and like res resize them. Almost a bunk, but not quite. A new no. So much destruction. Pretty impressed, by the way, that I was able to kind of, like, recover that run earlier from plus 14 to plus 5 going into Toast early, which actually makes me think, like, yeah, maybe I should let myself miss the 3k Spongebob token sometimes. Oh, and that uh, that run missed uh, BBBH Spongebob frame as well. I mean, I don't remember how the rest of BBBH went, but I just mean, like, 
that happened, and then I, I was afterwards, I, was, I made a mistake that made me plus 14, like, and I still recovered it. I don't think you're reaching that, Spongy. I haven't fucked with level design since, uh... Since the old days from when I was a kid and I would draw Mario Kart Wii map layouts and I was really, really into the bouncy mushrooms. I was, like, obsessed with them. I don't even know if I have any of those drawings anymore. But that's what, what all my levels were, would just be, like... Cave. And then, like, the, the remaining two-thirds of the level would just be bouncy mushrooms. I uh, can't spare the time anyway because I'm too busy getting getting bitches. And also I can't draw. I don't even know how to draw like what I'm like supposed to be showing like I would just draw like a fucking circle and then have arrows pointing a shit like this goes here that goes there. That's kind of a... You know, you could dark side, or you could redeem something funny, like uh, bath time with Chris. Ah, Jesus Christ. Alright, you're gonna have to wait. Well, I, no, I wanted Dark Side to do it. Uh, well, don't make me do it again. I do what I want. Hello, Clicks. Thank you for the good luck. How would. Oopsies. How we doing? You have to get shut up. It's kind of I actually low key still want to make Mario Kart tracks, but like I tried to learn how to before in twenty nineteen. I don't know if it's gotten any better, but, like, you have no idea how, how complicated it was. Like, I literally had to download, like, five different fucking programs. And, like, obviously, like, build, like, ISO files, like, every single time as well. Um, and I had to, like... Like, I, and, and things were still off, too, like... I, and I had to, put, like, have loads of different things in, like, these different folders. I hope it's better than it used to be, at least, for the sake of the, of the map creators. There's no spamming. Oh. 
It is because none of us say not, it's just like the funny voice saying the word not. Because that's what makes it funny. I made you after that one faithful night with your mother. But other than that, no, I cannot present anything to the class. All I'd have to show for it uh, is like following those like BFV modding tutorials, and then it would just game would just crash anyway. No sketches? Well, I probably don't have them anymore, but even if I do, they're in the storage room and then, like, I'm just not gonna get those out for me, but I'm not going in there because spiders! I know I do have one thing, and it's not like game design, but I, d I did used to draw comics back in the day. I draw... Although I lost a batch of them before, it really pissed me off, because, like... I, I put, like, a bunch of my comics on, like, the kitchen counter, my mom just threw them away without even asking me if I wanted them. She's like, eh, when they were on the counter, I sure I threw them away, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have put them there, and it's like, well, I was just taking them out of my bags, I wouldn't get, like, fucking... Anyway, I, I still have, like, most of them. Obviously, like, they don't really, like, they're all just about... I'm feeling like more of a man already. Like, just random shit, like, yeah, obviously they're, like, because I was very young, so obviously, like, they don't have any, like, doesn't make sense. The, the only consistent thing I remember is that, um, I have, like, a reoccurring character called Stupid Man. It's because it's, like, Superman be stupid. And, um, obviously he would just constantly just do really dumbass things. So he's basically, like, if, if Patrick from Spongebob was a superhero, basically. <laughs> Basically, but not funny. There are people in my chat who would who mod like Sky and Latte and iPie and Wilcon. But there is pain and suffering involved, yeah. Particularly with like the learning process. Some meddler. Um, that sounds not. That sounds not fun. <laughs> it's gonna depend on the person and like what they're looking to do, but like potentially a while. There's like a lot of. There's a lot of parts to the tutorial, and it also partly depends on which game you're looking to mod. The tutorials are for battle, and you can apply a lot of the same things to the other games, but... They're still best used for battle, which means if you're trying to learn movie, you can just make the process a little slower, for example. Or if, you, or if you're modding for Incredibles, uh, Scooby-Doo, or Rat then there are, like, hardly any resources for those games. It, and hardly any experience, either. So, that would probably also be, like, time-consuming. If you're looking to make mods, like, ASAP, then I think, like, the easiest thing you can do is learn to make a SpongeBob challenge or a Flood and Block challenge. Or something, I feel like that. Unless you're just gonna take geometry that already exists in battle or movie. 
and just kind of like add stuff to it. Like more platforming, more, more enemies, or whatever. Change timers. Yeah, it's worth giving a go. Why not? I already tried giving it a go and I gave up, but it'd, it'd be cool to have more models in the scene. A floating block or a sponge ball. Basically, yeah, or a combat. Those are like... Those are like the easiest ones to do, other than just like adding to... Like, pre-existing levels. When it comes to making something yourself, those are like the easiest ones to do, probably. You need you need the level files, but like, yeah, as a given. Yeah, I think the worst part of the process is like like at the very very beginning when you're just learning shit and like and you get error codes and you don't know why and just like, mm -hmm. yeah. time to like learn to the extent that I would like to how am I supposed to balance streaming and video creation what I what I would it like that like make, making videos um like and then obviously my hobby of just playing games and also just wanting those chill moments where I don't really do much I like those moments too and then modding, and I'm modding consistently and enough to actually get good at it, like, without it taking an eternity. Like, yeah. Yeah, probably. Look out below! 
why uh, this run is so bad. So bad. Uh, you can, well, you need to, like, after you download the ISO, you, like, you can, like, use Dolphin to, like, extract it, and then, I, I, I don't, like, it's explained in part one of the tutorial, or, or maybe, maybe it's part zero, I don't fucking know, but it's, like, the first part, whatever it is. Um. It tells you how to, like, path it, so that when you make changes in IP, you can basically just boot up the game, and it'll just, like, you don't have to rebuild the, rebuild the files every single time, it'll just, like, know to boot into it. For quick testing. Yeah, there's a long playlist tutorial. Uh... Dude, why is this run so unbelievable? I- There are three tricks in this level and I missed every single one of them. Missed every single one of them. This run's like on par with like the other one for its awfulness. It might actually be worse. This might be worse than the other run, possibly. I don't know. I don't remember how plus- I know it's plus 14 out of 3k, but I don't know, like, if I save time after the into Nabo Men. It's, like, definitely roughly on par, though, at least. Okay, no worries. This place yep. Fuck off. I just threw a good tweet. Hold on, let me, like, send it to myself so that I can then send it to you. Hold on. Up we go. Oh. 
I feel like I always, not always, but like, I like never try to warp to the second task unless I buffer the token, and then if I buffer it, I, for some reason, like, consistently try to warp to the second task, so it leaves me more time, I don't know why I do that. SpongeBob. That's a new feature. Okay, if we're talking like a theoretical concept, that sounds really good. Because the number of times, like, these YouTubers will have like really fucking loud, like, music transitions, right? And then, and then their voice will be quiet as fuck afterwards. Or even just from video to video, some YouTubers will just have really quiet audio for some reason, and others will just be loud as fuck. Um... Yeah, I'm not saying it's an actual feature, I'm saying... Assuming it's executed absolutely, like, perfect. But I can't help but feel like it's not gonna be... ...done perfectly. I just... I don't know if I... Well... What about if, like, as an example, though, like, can it detect if, uh... Your talking levels are fine, but the music in the background is too loud. Does it know what to, like, level that? Going up. There's the edge of town. My concern is that I think a lot of my music in my video is too loud. Like, 
I put it at the volume that I felt was good, and then I showed it to Lucy and Card, and then they both said it was too quiet. So I, I like, turned it up, and I kind of based the audio levels off of that. But, like, I think Premiere just likes lying to me, because I... I, like, de I manually decrease the volume if it hits, like, above a certain decibel point. And yet there are some tracks that are definitely way louder than others. And I'm having a really hard time, like... I'll literally turn a track down, like, fucking three decibels or some shit, right? And then I'll go back to it, like, a week later, and it sounds like I didn't even turn the volume down. And it's still too loud. But yeah, anyway, yeah, I think the volumes on most of my tracks are, like, too loud. Even if it's just tracking overall volume, that would be good. I remember watching LS Mark's Family Guy video, and the transitions were way too loud. Like, so for example, it'd be playing, like, what's the, what's the first level of uh, Sonic Adventure 1? Uh, like, the first, like, is it like Emerald Coast or some shit, right? It'll literally be like... And then he goes, This episode is bad. Like, fucking Jesus. I could not watch that video at night, because I had to constantly turn the volume up and down. It's, like, so annoying. Yeah, at Wilcon. Someone has to make a hub world, apparently. I think one of the things is a hub world. The thing is, though, how are you supposed to make a hub world when you don't know what levels it's going to connect to? So, isn't a hub world, like, the last thing that needs to be made? But then, if it's the last thing made, then... Might not be enough time to make it, so how's that gonna work? Uh, make a level. In movie. That's basically it. Well, you know, like, make a full level. Like, I assume, like, six tokens. Anyway, I, sh I should see if I have that YouTube feature. I could actually, like, try it out. Um, sounds pretty good to me. My audio level's always fucked, so if it could be, like, stabilized, like, that would actually be really good. You know, YouTube does do some good sometimes. Like, they have some good features. It takes, like, ten bad changes until we get the good thing, but still, whenever there is a good thing, you're just like, damn, this website ain't so bad after all, it's like... You know what I mean? A good hub world, though, like, battles, where you can, like, see levels in the distance and stuff, like... Wouldn't be able to do that with this mod, I don't think. I think it just have to be, like, blank. Like... Like, if, if for example, one of the levels is just, like, an underground level, then you just have to have, like, some staircase going to the basement or some shit, and then they would just transition to a loading screen to get to that level. Or something like that. Finally, ear rape that doesn't actually make you go deaf. True. A cannon, I guess? Or like you take a blimp or something? A cannon would be funny. It'd be a Dutchman reference. Also, yeah. After this, let me go. Ch let me go to YouTube and see if the fe if I have the feature. I assume like it's only shown for some users and probably even only some channels at the moment. But if I click on like a PewDiePie video, that's like the most likely. That's one of the most likely. Or Mr. Beast video. That's like one of the most likely people who would like already have her on the channel, right?
I yeah, same. I used to do that. Yeah. With speakers as well, so just like, yeah. So I guess that's how I prevented myself from going deaf. Is because a lot of the, a lot of the time when I was watching YouTube, poop was on speakers. But then obviously, then my parents would get mad because I was playing stuff too loud. Especially whenever you, you do, you guys remember what the fuck boom? That was a classic, right? That shit was always loud. Be out of nowhere too. It'd be like something that mildly resembles an explosion, and then it'd just be like fucking ear rape. Because of you referencing that clip. Mr. Breast. Ten minutes to escape all this room. What is he doing? Ah, uh, uh, ship. Ooh. Wait, what, what is this? Uh, I don't think I have it. I have audio track. But that's just, like, dubbing. Wait, hold on. Audio track? Wait, does that mean I can, like... Let's change the language of the video, like, on the fly. Hold the phone. A new pack. Let's change it to French. He's about to jump! Right. No, it's just subtitles. Wait, why is this just subtitles if I already have a subtitles option? And why is it called audio track? That's so misleading. When you think audio track, don't you think like dub? Especially when there's already an option called subtitles. Why are the why is there an option fit? Why is the only option with subtitles English and then there's a separate one called audio track with other languages? That's fucking stupid. It should just be subtitles and then it's and then it, and it starts with English and then it drops down. Oh. Can you refer me to a YouTuber who does? And because then I'll know if I even have the option. Fucked hard by a wall. Yippee. I forgot to put it in dream discussion, by the way, but I literally just remember that a school dream. The number, not just the number of school dreams, but also the number of school dreams I have where I kind of like reunite with my friend. Like, even though my age is like progressed. <laughs> And I'm in school. I still acknowledge that we haven't I haven't been in school for a long time somehow. And I'm like, first time I've talked about like it, it's. I always get dreams of like re rebuilding the friend group, and then being like, oh, why didn't we do this sooner? Blah blah blah. And then yeah, like a boss. <laughs> I don't have the option. That's also just a quiet video in general for some reason. Yeah, they're probably rolling it out to the Americans first, then, probably. A new
Well, the Brits don't get nice things, bruv, until they've already been playtested by the Americans. Um... Still though, yeah, the feature on the whole does sound like actually good. I'm actually, I'm sure I'll be able to make good use of it myself and just in general watching videos. Again, some people's transitions are so fucking loud. The only thing I'm worried about is like just some if it glitches somehow. Like I'm just saying, like I could totally imagine like. Like, maybe it's, like, the code is meant to, like, decrease the volume by a certain percentage, and it accidentally increases it by a certain percentage, and it irritates you. I can so see that happening. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. That just reminded me, um, in Persona 5, there's a character. Um, obviously, he doesn't, like... You know, the characters only sometimes say their lines. But just one common line... Uh, the owner of the cafe, Sojuro. One line that he kind of commonly says, like, whenever you talk to him and, like, do stuff with him. He just goes, let me explain. And it actually sounds a little bit like Markiplier. And, like, every time I hear that voice line in my head, I'm always just thinking, like, about Mar like Markiplier saying it. Let me explain. Like, it literally does sound like, at least like... It sounds like someone's doing a Markiplier impression. Uh-oh. One month ago, uploaded from Markiplier. I'm tired. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mayday, mayday. That really is a yippee. Well, I'm happy with that feature. What shitty thing is YouTube gonna do in the next month? Only one way to find out. They obviously they have to compensate for giving us something nice in the first. You know, they, they gotta they gotta pay us back tenfold. I found one. Oh god. Okay, good. Also, the I'm tired video just kind of makes me think of, like... You know YouTubers who are up and coming, like, right now? How? Hey, could you imagine in, like, seven years, new uh, Pimple Foundation uploaded, and you click on it, and it's just like, I'm tired, and you're like, no. <laughs> I've had an, uh, dot, dot, dot. When am I quitting? Question mark. Yeah. I'm eventually gonna make a video on a game, and I'm gonna call it, like, decent or something when everyone else thinks it's good, and be like, Em, you're just bad. And then I'll... And I'll get bullied on stream, and then I'll make a video called Why I'm Quitting.
Hello, ants in my pants. How's it going, bro? I'm doing all right. What about you? The woke haters. I've added up the heal with them. Practically just means progressive at this point. I think I think it's it's meant to mean like too politically correct, like yeah, you know, that kind of thing. Like we're going too far to the extreme extremism, but now it basically like you could just you could, you like you could just see like a, a a pride badge on someone's fucking shirt. And they're just like, eh, you woke, mob. Eh, this shit woke. It is actually kind of nice, like, walking around Cardiff and just seeing a bunch of people just with, like, rainbow handbags. Kind of cool. Well, that, well, not just, like, handbags, but, like, yeah, bags. But, just, yeah, kind of cool. Pippi will can't happen, but there's no re yeah, there's no reason not to like still you know fight for change and all that stuff. Because if if everybody just like sat back and relaxed, then when we go as far as we have yet uh, at this point. Not caring about what others say is like really hard, but that's how you get the ball rolling, yeah. So it's nice to see. Crossing arms pose. Get out of here, bro. Welcome back. I just like sit down in my chair and just go. Ah. Guys, I made a bad mistake. She told me she was 18. <laughs> so basically, it's her fault. Oh, fucking hell, Wilcon. That's quite edgy, isn't it? Fucking hell. That's even worse than what I said. Eighteen dog years to human years. The gates are locked. Hmm. Okay, I don't think Google knows what I'm what I mean. Well, I'm assuming it's like six or something, but yeah. 
I somewhat care about what others think, but I don't think I would be flat out bullied out of doing something. Yeah, um, a lot of people say that, like, you just kind of grow thick skin when, like, online. Because if you get big, then it's literally inevitable that people will just fucking hate you eventually. Even when there's no reason to, like, people just hate you. Or, like, maybe it could be for a reason, but the reason is small, or maybe the reason was something from, like, ages ago, blah, blah, blah. You know? This doesn't look like SD-101. It's SD-101 at night. Oh, yeah, I forgot to play Bath Time with Chris. Uh, I have to be after this one, then. Well, I was really bothered by that run that died in Nathomen. I have dementia. No, I, I didn't break a promise. Like, I didn't say I promise I would after. I said I would after, which means I was wrong. But I didn't break a promise. Yeah, exactly, bro. After this run. Speak to your manager. Uh, he's currently in a paddy wagon right now, so you might have to wait. I wasn't really even thinking of removing XDD. I mean, because I knew the latte used it and Cotton used it occasionally, so I was like, yeah, it's probably used enough. Tax fraud? Tax fraud is awesome, unless you're rich, in which case, kill yourself. Anyway, I almost uh, walked right into him, so... Yeah, people can get pretty easily influenced into using emotes. Like the one that shall not be named. Frogfish box state. I think it'll be a very slow fight. This chat does not suck, sir. You just cringe. To get to shelf. Nothing wrong with my chat, right? You gotta take the good with the bad, or the bad with the good, or whatever. Good cat gif. Well, I, I'd rather not have like 30 cat emos, Calvin. <laughs> uh, rock slide. If, if you, like, know how to get the gift, would you be able to, like, send it somewhere? Like, in my DMs or something? Or wherever works. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, 
You know what hasn't happened in ages? Like, touching the Hans trigger while I'm falling down there in Rock Slide, like, just the uh, hard just now? I've been thinking about it recently, and I'm, I don't know, I just have the Hans just gonna happen, like, this month. So hopefully it does not. Was that so hard? Was that so hard? Again, again. <laughs> Okie dokie, sir. You'll have to give me, like, over a minute because there's somehow over a minute left. Yes, I will. It's best to remind me after, like, when, like right as the run dies, because, like... Which... It's either gonna be Nalo Abed, SCDA, Dennis 2, Plank 1, or Plank 2. So, uh... Yeah. So many choices, so little time. Don't remind him. I thought you would, like... I mean, why'd you redeem that? Maybe you don't want me to play it. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. My first jump was, like, too good. I had to, like, wiggle a bit. You know, I like taking a bath. Said no speedrunner ever. But I like taking a bath. And I know this guy, Chris, and he does not like taking baths. But that's okay, because we're gonna encourage him. <laughs> I've seen that before, Cadden. It's kinda cute, I like that one. Three thousand chips to bath time with Chris Redeem. Finally. Oh yeah. Um, I assume you're not working on Clock Dimension anymore, Ipo. There is a lot in the level. Like, there's a lot. No, not Cock Dimension. Well, no, I, I was just thinking, I was, I was thinking of mods, and I was like, oh yeah, I haven't played the new version of Clock Dimension. I was like, oh yeah, that's good, yeah, because I was waiting for Xbox. Okie dokie. Karaoke. I feel like I maybe I could have gone for that second bash, but that would have been really risky. Mayhaps. Fucking collided with the ball. You see that? But it, like, usually when that happens, it just gets thrown into the fucking stomach acid. But I was actually able to still hit the lobster. That's good. Yeah, because it's so long, I'd probably make it, like, 
quite expensive TBH. Hey, but... You really gotta try it. Yeah, playing like the visually best looking mod on Xbox, like, sign me up, bro. Welcome back. Is it just me or, or are Twitch ads, like, not as bad as they used to be? Because I I haven't seen, like, a minute and a half of ads on Twitch, like, in a row, like, for a while, or even, like, 50 seconds, even. I mean, I'm still not on Twitch that much, but when I am, I haven't really seen longer than, like, 30 seconds of ads in a while. Which makes me wonder if they've actually, like, decreased the amount of, like... The like, they might have just redistributed it, like, maybe it's the same amount of ads, but they just play more often or something, but I I'm actually not sure. But at least individually, it seems like the amount has decreased in, in one go. Which is nice, if that is actually the case. I can't play it now, I'm playing, uh, movie. Yeah, Clock Dimension is, like, really good. It had issues, like, I, I bet the update fixed, like, everything. I think the cycle like perfectly looped. Well, not perfectly actually. Good enough. Oh, I don't want to run clock dimension. I'm not sure. Again, I just don't go on Twitch enough anymore. I used to be on Twitch, like, all the time, but now it's just, like, YouTube videos. The downfall of... 40,000 subscriber YouTuber. And that is how Plankton is Losers, creeps, pedos. Okay, did my eyes just glitch, or did the game just fucking lag, like, weirdly far forward? Like, the amount I got pushed forward was more than how long I lagged for, I feel like. Like, I feel like that saved time, possibly. That was really weird. Definitely gonna need to clip that. But don't send it to Glad Jonas, he fell off. It's kind of <laughs> 
niching consistently. Yeah, that's basically just speedrunners. That's pretty much it. All hail these. All hail these. That wasn't so tough. I, I barely lost anything off of like a perfect three meter. NMC when? Like next week? Like I'll do like a run of it next week. Probably. It looked like a bad splice. Nice. Well, I knew all my years of splicing would finally catch up to me. I got too lazy. Oh, that has been a good run. Long time cheetah finally exposed. I can see it now. Kyle's gonna make so much money off of me, bro. Is that no major bitches? Bring to. People sure have been throwing out a lot of TVs lately. Well, at least I'm not playing no minor bitches. Could be worse. Oh, no, I meant. No, wait, hold on. Did I say that wrong? I meant like. I said I'm not. Yeah, the, the way I worded it was. Yeah, okay, anyway. I said I'm not playing, not doing that. Which that means I. Yeah, I kind of fucked up how I worded that. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Cotton, can you please put that in epic clips if you don't mind? Oh, slidey stuff. Like, oh, okay, thank you. Like, obviously it happened minutes ago, so I can't remember exactly, but I, I feel like that saved time. Like, I don't think the amount I lagged. Like, I, I think I got pushed forward a little bit, if anything. Could you imagine if you gold and it's only because the game like lag spikes? That'd be fucking crazy. Well, don't blame me, blame the disc. It must have just like read a scratch and it was like, oh no, I don't like that brev, and then like yeah. See, I don't know why it did that, because I'm pretty sure I already hit my my upgrade lag spike. Or maybe I didn't. Maybe that was the upgrade lag spike. But I don't think it was, because uh, you almost always lag spike when you throw the melon at the toast. Like, not literally always, but like 90% of the time. And then, you'll usually like cartwheel boxes when doing toilet skip, and if you didn't already lag spike, you're gonna lag spike there, like every single time. So I'm actually like not sure like where I lag spiked, but that might have been the lag spike, maybe. So it maybe it was like trying to catch up with itself, so it just like fucking uber lag spiked and looked like a splice or some shit, I don't know.
Yeah, I feel like I always approach, the, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm just always living on the edge of those uh, trampolines. I was gonna make a joke of like, I'll go back in time and <laughs> prevent that splice from happening. But it's like. It, it made me think back to like. Obviously, when we thought that uh, we had a big splicer in our community because they came out of nowhere and beat Cole's time. If you time traveled back to like 2016 and then did like all of these fucking strats, you would so be called a cheetah. Like. You'd be called a cheetah, and then, like, one of the runners would try a strat once, miss it, and then deem it's impossible, and then you'd be banned from the community forever. That, like, so would happen. Like, it'd, it'd be the equivalent of being called a witch. Funny menu and upgrades. A new You don't understand. They have no time to optimize movie because they were too busy working on GG01. I'm sure that was a great level, Clueless. It really is, you're right. Especially in Second Strike when it's basically always followed with uh, Chucks and Tatas. I don't know if you were here yesterday, Cotton, but in one of my runs yesterday, I got one out of seven Sunday jumps, and the one that I got was in Sunday 1, so in Sunday 2, I missed literally all of them. And the run was still, I mean, the run was, like, practically dead, but it was still, like, you know, it just, uh, if I play, like, basically perfect, I can still PB by, like, a microsecond, so I might as well continue. And then it got fucking fucked. In, uh, I forgot where. I think it was playing Spongebob. You know, that clip, by the way, is gonna look real bad if this PVs. I just realized. Of all runs, yeah, that that's what I'm worried about, like, of all runs to... to I don't want this one to pee me now, it looks like a spice.
Like, it looked really bad to, like, have not PB'd for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Saying how overdue I am and all that, and then, like, I get what looks like the world's most obvious splice in the PB. Like... Like, it looks like I have... I... That's the kind of splice that somebody would do in a game that they don't understand and they're, like, too stupid to, like, stitch it together properly. So they just do a shitty job and nobody knows this. That's what it looked like. It looked like a, a really, like... Like, baby's first splice. What it looked like. I'm still splicing. How do I do it, bro? You know what's always funny with those splicer stories? They're always like, Yes, guys, I admit it, I cheated, but I only cheated that one run. And then you go look at the other runs and they're all cheated. Why do they always say- they literally always get caught after the first one. Why do they always say that without fail? Uh, there's an SM64... ...one. Like, they- they found out how to find, uh, splices in SM64. Making that game one of the easiest popular games to splice to one of the hardest because of, like, blink cycles. It's actually pretty- I can't believe it took so long to get found. Because looking back at it, it's like actually really obvious. But like, yeah, I don't know, just like not really- Yeah, the, the blink cycle is like, global. Like, it'll always remain the same. And now they're using it to like, find some splices. It'd be so hard that it wouldn't be worth your time, like, at all. To, to like, splice. The best way that you could get away with splicing in that game now is if instead of splicing, like, every star, it's, it's more like you splice, like, once every, like, two levels or something like that. And again, but then again, then you'd have to play good for so long anyway. You'd have to be already, like, so good at the game. Like, no one's gonna do that, so yeah, no one's really gonna splice in the game anymore, except for, like, amateurs, you know? So that's good. I'm saying because then, like, yeah, but no one, like... What, what I'm saying is that if somebody checks a random star, like, they're just checking, like, two random stars, like, if you... Like, if you haven't spliced at all, since, like... The beginning of the run, like, you haven't spliced. And then somebody checks your blink cycles in Womp's Fortress and they're fine because you haven't spliced yet. And then they're like, yep, this run is real. But then you spliced in JRB and now they don't know because they didn't check. That's, that's what I mean. Like, the less you splice then, the more likely be you to get away with it. It's it's in such a small way and annoying way that nobody would do that, but, like... Yep, yep, did not miss out a single time in practice. I went out of my way to practice that more than normal because I missed it yesterday. But, yeah, no, just, just, yeah. That's really cool. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying, Darkseid. I said you could, but you wouldn't. Because it's too time consuming. Is what I was saying. And you can still get caught anyway. Thank you for missing that. Thank you for missing that. Yeah, it, it wasn't enough to just like. Never rock lock in practice, but always lock rock in runs. Now, now, I have to like miss it every single time. I just have to miss the trick every single time. 
wasn't enough to just soft lock me. Now you have to just make me feel as shitty as possible because now I have to miss it every single time. It's really awesome. It's not a dead run, but now it's a pretty trash run. It's really bad, but it's still PBable. It, I mean, don't get me wrong. It is going to die. Like, it, it. let's be real. This run is not, not gonna fucking PB. There's literally no way. With no cushion going into the later levels, there is no chance this is gonna PB. But, like... It, it technically can, so I gotta continue the run. Still low-key looks sus, but yeah, now I'm not worried. Unless it's still somehow PBs. Something the sum cheaters do to, like, not show suspicion, but this is more so when they're grinding for world record or, like, bounties or whatever. They'll, like, purposely make really stupid mistakes so that they d don't get world record on purpose. So that they can, like, it looks more legitimate when they, like, creep up to it. But obviously, because they already have the world record, there's no point in doing that. <coughs> Sunday's a fever dream. Unlock all tasks G and skip it. Bro upgraded the wrong move. Skullfish. Sunday has lost media. True. Well, GG, I won it, but not Sunday. Why did this level have to exist? Why couldn't GG01 exist in none of this? That have been so cool. Howdy Crow, what's up, bruv? Accidentally skipping cutscenes for games you've never played before fucking blows. That's why, while every game should have skippable cutscenes, they should ask you, like, are you sure before, like... Because I don't like when you, just any press of a button, uh, especially when it's, like, any button, it just fucking skips a cutscene. That could potentially be really important. I see. Well, whenever you want to, you can get back on the grind sesh. Yeah, Cadden, that's that's why you should either have to like hold a button or you like press A and then it's like, are you sure? And it defaults to like no. Like like how Odyssey does it. I think it defaults to no, but yeah, like it you have to press start and it's like, are you sure? That's good. Like, that. that is a really good way of having a, a cutscene skipper. Bring games like this one and, and battle where you just, like, press a button. Well, actually, I don't know if battle takes any inputs other than A, but I know in movie, movies, PowerPoint cutscenes, I know it accepts more inputs than just the A button. Where you just, like, instantly skip it on accident. It can be especially weird in this game considering the locations you go to.
you, you skip the SCDA cutscene, you end up in... Uh, the dentist cutscene, you end up in fucking Sunday. You skip the Sunday cutscene, you end up in gas, and you're just like, what the fuck is going on? Sunshine, cough, cough. Dude, Pokemon XD as well. I gotta fucking bitch about this, right? I've been playing a Pokemon XD quality of life hack, and it is good. But I, I know that this, this isn't exclusive to the mod, because why would they make it? But I kept getting... Eevees with bad natures when I already knew that I wanted a Jolteon, and they just, they just kept being minus special attack. It was so annoying, right? So I kept resetting for just neutral nature Eevee or not plus attack and not minus speed or special attack. So I was accepting like, like two-thirds of the natures already. Right? And I had to reset like five times, and you have to watch the cutscene every single time because you have to start a new game, and then and then you have to watch a cutscene, and then you have to like play in the back because like the, the game starts with you playing in like a battle simulator thing. So you, you just like bullet punch a Gardevoir and it dies in like one hit, and then you have to and then you talk to the guy and then you get to check your EV. But it's like so annoying. Like why why do I have to do all that? So it's especially because the EV can have any nature. Like, why the fuck would you like? Why don't you just have it so that like you save in front of the guy and then he gives you the EV? Like, why can't it just be like that? Why, like, it's just annoying. Yeah, that's a problem, Cotton. Though you can't have. You can't replay the early game cutscenes like the, at the very beginning. So you can't skip them. That's the issue. Yeah, they have hacked file now, though, Crow, so luckily that's not an issue <coughs> anymore. I played Silver recently. Kind of nice, the simplicity, because then you can just catch a fire.